I, I too have a dream. I am like, I suppose most of you, a proponent of dreaming. Aspiring to something greater drives us to our achievements, fosters excellence, and promotes innovation. Sometimes, however, dreaming denies one of an accurate perception of reality. Humanity is uplifted when individuals, the likes of Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King, dream of freedom, justice, and equal opportunity for all. Humanity suffers when individuals and groups of individuals dream of more and more for themselves and consequently less and less for everyone else. Corporations are mandated by their corporate charters to maximize their profits for their investors. That the wealth might be derived by plunder is moot. It is survival of the fittest. If someone loses, it is because he or she deserves it. Consider the weakness of the human animal relative to other species. We have no fangs, no talons, no horns, no quills, no hide, no venom. Yet we are succeeding. Why are we successful? Because we cooperate. Because we cooperate. And so I dream of the society inspired by a multiplicity of dreams. Rather than one or two or three old white men. I being a rebel. Come everyone else. Come everyone else's nightmare. I dream a, of a home for you and you, Mary Jo, and you, Stardust. For all of us and myself. Bear with me. Rather than one mansion for one privileged individual and deprivation for everyone else. Before centralized economies with universal currencies were created, people traded with local currencies. Wealth could not flow from the periphery to the center as due to the very nature of the system. But someone decided Someone lusting for dominance decided a central bank will be better, and so banks grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. Now they are so big we deem them too big to fail. Thus avoiding the consequences of their own anxious actions, the banksters act with impunity. They are taking millions of homes and substituting memes, such as, some people don't deserve loans said by Wells Fargo recently in response to our occupation of their office at 3rd Street. How soon they air, the arrogant conveniently forget. Only five years ago, some banks didn't deserve loans. <laughs> Arrogance yeah. is a deception employed to conceal fear. The banksters are afraid the public will cease to trust them. Their profiteering is dependent on public trust in the system, and the public trust is at low ebb. Millions who dreamed of having lodging and checks in the mail are now stripped of their wealth. One 93-year-old dreamer I know was told by his mortgager to get a job. <laughs> Let's now eat cake, <laughs> or let's do what we have been doing, dreaming not only of me, 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 but rather, and me in the house behind us, but also of us now and seven future generations. Us, us, us us, all of us.